This is Barry Zalma speaking for Claim School Incorporated's blog, Zalma on Insurance. Today we're going to seek about why Louisiana and North Carolina have different laws regarding the handling of claims and why jurisdiction chosen by a contract of insurance must be followed if it is clear and unambiguous. And the jurisdiction chosen by a contract of insurance must be followed. Government Employees Insurance Company, GEICO, sought review of a trial court's July 12, 2023 judgment, denying its motion for partial summary judgment. In Washington, Dos Santos v. USA Casualty Insurance Company, Government Employees Insurance Company, and Carrie Ann Riley, a September 18, 2023 decision of the Court of Appeals of Louisiana resolved the dispute between GEICO and its insured. Washington Dos Santos sued for damages, asserting damages as a result of a motor vehicle accident. Dos Santos named GEICO as a defendant in its capacity as an uninsured or underinsured motorist insurer of the vehicle he was operating at the time of the accident. In his petition for damages, Dos Santos asserted that GEICO violated Louisiana's penalty statutes, which require that an insurer be fair in its handling of claims and tender payment when satisfactory proof is established. On April 23, 2023, GEICO filed a motion for partial summary judgment asserting that re respondent, that is, Dos Santos' claim under his insurance policy contract dictates that all claims are subject to North Carolina law and therefore Louisiana's penalty statutes are inapplicable. GEICO averred that the policy was issued to respondent at a North Carolina re address Respondent has a North Carolina driver's license, and the vehicle was registered in North Carolina. To succeed in a motion for summary judgment, there must be a genuine issue of material fact. A genuine issue is one to which reasonable persons could disagree. If reasonable persons could reach only one conclusion, no need for trial on that issue exists, and summary judgment is appropriate. Geico maintained the trial court erred in denying its motion for partial summary judgment because the insurance policy specifically mandated Dos Santos's claim is subject to North Carolina law, and thus Louisiana's penalty statutes are inapplicable. Geico did so because Dos Santos's policy provided in pertinent part, quote, this policy is issued in accordance with the laws of North Carolina and covers property or risks principally located in North Carolina. Any and all claims or disputes in any way related to this policy shall be governed by the laws of North Carolina. Close quote. Dos Santos's insurance policy mandated application of North Carolina law. The language in the policy was clear and unambiguous, and thus it must be enforced as written. When the words of an insurance contract are clear and explicit and lead to no absurd consequences, no further interpretation may be made in search of the party's intent, and courts must enforce the contract as written. The language contained in Geico's policy with re Respondent Dos Santos are clear. North Carolina law applies to any, any disputes or claims. Geico satisfied its burden of establishing that the language of the contract of insurance was clear and unambiguous and that North Carolina law applies to the disputes. Therefore, the trial court's judgment denying Geico's motion for poverty partial summary judgment was reversed. In my opinion, people like Mr. Dos Santos, who are injured in an automobile accident, aren't paid what they wish, want to punish an insurer that fails to pay what they want, so they can profit from the insurance policy. 
Louisiana allows an insurer to be penalized, and North Carolina does not, since the policy clearly stated that the law of North Carolina applied, and the fact that the accident happened in Louisiana was therefore irrelevant. Regardless of the desires of an insured to punish his insurer, the contract wording controlled the interpretation of the insurance policy, and Mr. Dos Santos could not receive the penalties allowed by the state of Louisiana. This video was adapted from my blog, Zelma on Insurance, which is available free to anyone who clicks on the URL zelma.com slash blog, and you can subscribe to the blog and receive notice of each blog posting, usually five, sometimes six a week. And if you found this blog and this video to be of interest, please tell your friends and colleagues about the blog and the videos and let them subscribe to the blog as well. And if you want detailed information about insurance, insurance law, insurance claims, and insurance fraud, please consider for a very small fee subscribing to my Substack publication or my Locals community. Thank you for your attention.